What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Basement, the story update. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. So, you might not know this because obviously you won't see that video, but I'm actually re recording this video again because I tried level four and I failed tremendously. I would even show you, but it was mostly just kind of like gathering my feet, trying to figure out how to do that level. So now I have an idea how to do it, but I still don't believe I'm capable of completing this level. Let me show you what I mean over here. For this one, we have to do Police Captain, which um, Gunter starts a gang and introduces himself to the Police Captain. If you recall with the last video, we were actually locked up because apparently Kenny dined us out. So what happens here is that Kenny comes back around for whatever reason, and he helps me break out of jail. I'm over here in jail up here, as you can see. It's very easy for Kenny to just break into any random jail which is only secured by one police guard, and let everybody out, you know? Let's not ask questions about that. Hi there. Surprised to see you here. Who did it to you? Oh yes, it was me who turned you to the cops. What do you want from me? Well, maybe it's conscience. Here's my plan. We break into the building next to this one and come to an agreement with the police captain, who controls police controls the town. It's a lot of control there happening, huh? That was my plan. You're sick. Gather an inmate gang, train them, and meet the captain. But hurry, cops will look for you everywhere. Try to bribe them. I'm going shopping. You want a cola? See ya. Okay, and this is where our conundrum starts. So, what I found out is that obviously you're going to be constantly um, hounded by the police in this map, right? So everywhere you go, they will randomly show up. Let me choose everybody to come attack this prison cell because we do have to release the other two prisoners. Now, the problem with this is that you have to, after you release these prisoners, you have to level up three of your prisoners to some degree in order to come back over here and assault this precinct and meet the police captain. Maybe I'm overthinking this too much or something, but here's, here's everybody freed up now, right? So what I'm going to start off with is sending everybody to attack the office next door because there's a grow box here. Keep in mind, I cannot build any rooms in this level. I can't hire anybody. I can't build any extra rooms. So what I have right now is all we're getting for this level. So my idea is, as you can see right now, we have to improve our workers productivity three times, which I believe means we have to get them either running or punching the bag and max them out. Three of them at the very least for the assault at the precinct for the police captain. But the police will continuously raid every location you take control of. And the thing is that the reason why I'm going after the grow box first is because I want to produce drugs, plus there's money here. I'll produce drugs and then we'll sell them and make money that way. The thing is that the game, every single time they send a, a cop to raid one of your locations, it increments by 200. So the first bribe will be 200, the next one will be like actually like 600 so I'm not even sure what the jumps are but the jumps are so high that you can no longer keep up with the bribe amount and if you can't bribe the cops they come in and they wreck your entire party so now that I've explained to you what I mean let oh Jesus Christ what happened here <laughs> okay don't ever hit that button right there Falcon in the keyboard I'm not sure what happened but I think I just brought up the commands menu or whatever okay so let me keep this in slow motion um we need to number one Get Walter White to start cooking. Walter, where the fuck you at? He's right here. So you come down here, start producing the drugs now. We need to get a place to heal up ourselves, so we have to come down here. Hopefully, none of my dudes go down. Before I send you guys here, do I have any equipment for you? This will be for production, which is not what I'm looking for. So let me give this over here to old Gunther Walter White. Equip that. Okay. I'm going to send everybody who's free to attack this location. We have six prisoners. Technically speaking, none of them should go down, but it depends on this and the luck here. Okay. Please, nobody lose. Nobody lose. Okay, I'm not sure if we lost anybody just yet. No, we still have seven. Perfect. So now the people should come down here and heal, right? Meanwhile, whenever one of you maxes out, you, I want you to start selling drugs here. Now, the problem is we now need to get a way to move drugs from one location to the other one, which means we have to come down here or here, whichever one works. But we also need to get myself healed up. So we're in a race against time. Meanwhile, Walter will produce drugs, so we have drugs ready to go and sell soon. This junkie better not go crazy right now. I ain't got time for that shit. It's okay. 
This is, uh, I'm so nervous because I'm not sure when the raids will happen. And we barely have enough right now to pay off one bribe. Not for the future ones. We need to sell some drugs for that. So get your HP back. Now should be enough time. Let's come down over here now. And attack with anybody who is free. Except Gunter. Ryan is selling. Ryan, I need to choose you as well. So now all of them just about healed up. Oh, see, they're coming over here to... Walter White is that, which is fine. We should have enough money to at least bribe once. And we have drugs ready to sell soon. And they're coming down here to attack, okay. So bring them down. One dude down. So yeah, I have enough to bribe you right now for $200, which is fine. Now the problem is the next bribe. We need to get money really, really fast here. So bring this guy down. Now we have the guy that'll move drugs from one location to the other one. So let's slow it down again. Ryan... I need you to start selling. You go pick up drugs at the Walter White location here. So that's going to be your spot here. Now you guys, whoever's hurt, free, come back here, get your HP back. There's also a trading spot right here. So now we should be able to move this product from here to fitness center for selling and laundry for selling. So I need a second seller as well. Maybe I might be able to pull it off now, I don't know. I, I had so much trouble off-camera doing it, but maybe now that I'm slowing it down and explaining stuff out, it might help me out, I don't know. So you're over here training, that's fine. Get your HP back. The thing is that the bribes go high. They go really, really high, and I can't really upkeep with the amount of money that the police want me to give them in order to not raid my location. So... The moment... You guys are completely healed up. We gotta go to the last center to take over and get some training done. So you're all healed up now, let's slow it down. Four fully healed people for this one, is that possible? I think it should be possible. So let me do anybody who's freed up, selling, cooking. Um, Cynthia, you gotta come along with, with us too. So Gunther's cooking, so he's not gunning. Brenda's selling, Ryan's selling. Okay, so everybody who's freed up, come down here, which should be four people. Which should be enough to get us this location right here, with any luck. Okay, we're up to 471 right now. We need more money because the next raid's going to be even tougher. One dude down, one dude down. Perfect. Okay. So now, I need one of you guys to start selling here as well. Doesn't matter if you're healed or not. Just start selling here. And hopefully we can push some drugs here pretty soon. Now, leftover people. Leftover people. I'm not even sending you back to heal. I'm going to have you just focus on training get you trained as soon as possible because we have to get three of them now we have the raid coming at the fitness center in six hours which is right over here the problem is i don't think we have enough money to buy off this bribe and if we do it's gonna be very close oh my god it's so close how much i think we need like 600 or something here they come here they come all right we're at 663 right now show up now <laughs> this will be the perfect place for you to show up now i think i could bribe this one the following one should double up again or something like that. So you guys continue selling, you're selling here, any other place. No, we're selling wherever we can sell. So this is like ideal how you want to have this. At this point, it's a matter of, I think, doing this fast enough to be able to get over there. So do you accept cash? $600, there you go. So I have now bribed that one. We're at $400 redues now. So at this point, I think the next one jumps up to like $1,200 or something. So this will prove right now, because I've done everything picture perfect, I want to say. I have not done one. Why aren't you training? Oh, you're not training. Down here, um, who's freed up? Cynthia. Let me choose you, Cynthia, to get your HP back. Not that we really need it at the moment. So if you're wondering, why don't you sell the extra st uh, areas? Uh, you can't sell them. So I can't build, nor sell, nor hire anybody. So, let's see, you are at level 1. See, I, I don't have enough money, I don't think I can even do upgrades if I'm right. No, 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 where are you going? No, no. Train, train here, it's fine. And I, I don't, I can't do upgrades either. So no upgrades as well, I can't speed it up by doing the, the, the steroid upgrade either. So, I can't build a damn thing with this level. Just whatever's given to me is what I have to kind of survive with. So, as you can see, we're at 606 now. We need more money for this raid, the next one coming up. And Walter could only keep up with these drugs. See, he's only down to one now in excess stock and over here. Well, luckily we have some drugs in the ranks. You leveled up just now. We have laundry being attacked by the cops in 20 hours, which should be here. But look at our money. 
our money needs to shoot up here by a lot. I'm not sure that's going to be happening. Now, are there any items I could probably help myself out with right now? Let me see. Can I sell something? I have the production mask here. I could sell it for 150 I mean, at this point, I'd just rather sell this shit if I can. I could buy drugs, but the thing is that we can't be using our money to buy these, I don't think. Cost is an outbird rage. Maybe this is what you're supposed to do for this level. I guess I haven't considered that. Invisibility. Huh. <laughs> Maybe this is what you're supposed to do. I never considered using the items. Maybe th this level is trying to teach you about the items. That could be it. I don't care about efficiency. Maybe if we use invisibility, like we go and attack the police officer right now. And we pump them up with invisibility. It's going to cost us 200 each, right? So what I could do right now is potentially sell the gas mask, which we won't need. Okay. If we could fend off one raid and level up meanwhile, I think this should be possible. The problem is, do I risk it? Because if I get raided right now and I don't have enough money, they'll come in here, they'll knock Walter White out and it's it, it's game over. So I'm not sure if the next bribe is going to be over the amount of money we have. Because remember, the last one that we paid was 600 if this is over 1200 I'm screwed. I think I could probably get up to 1200 before it happens, so let's see. You're, you're fine? Okay. Um, you're healed up, you're healed up. You guys need to heal up as well. I don't care about that seller being healed up or not. Uh, you guys continue leveling, I guess. Oh, you're, you're training over here, which is perfect. Okay, so we're at... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm paying him. <laughs> Stop paying the, the goddamn prisoner. Stop doing it. Right now, I'm at 12. Oh, we're being raided over here instead. Oh, I thought I was getting raided at Walter's place. Okay. Um, we're over 12 right now. How big is this one for? Oh, it's 600? Yo, man, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not making this up. I swear to God. I, I swear to God, off camera, I had like $900 for the third bribe, and it didn't give me the option to bribe them. It only said, um, this is private property, which puts you in a, in a straight up combat with them situation. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, I guess I was freaking out over no reason then. Assuming it sticks to 600. If it sticks to 600, we could obviously, obviously, obviously keep up the, the cost production. I don't know, maybe I was just crazy the entire time. I swear I couldn't do this, this mission off camera. I couldn't do it. I mean, I started recording the video. I failed. I gave it a couple of shots off camera. I still couldn't figure it out. And now that I'm recording again, I, I'm apparently doing it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. We'll see how this plays out. So, either way, we have to wait for them to max themselves out. And we have her over here just in the treadmill. That's good right there. Get that stamina up. I'm a big treadmill person. I'm a big cardio person myself. I do little jogs and walks every single day. That's kind of like my thing. I should probably get into some lifting, man. I got, like, weak-ass arms and shit. Do you even lift, bro? No. But I never skip leg day, apparently. Okay, you see? You see? $600. Okay, so you see, we're not out of the woods yet. I wasn't making that up. So you now you notice that it jumped from apparently 600 again to 1600, which we barely had. So you you know you see what I'm saying? It's so random. I have no idea what the next thing's gonna be. So now what I'm trying to figure out is we have to go attack now because chances are we won't have $600 next time around again. Um, assuming there's another bribe for $1,600. So you know what? I wasn't crazy. Thank God the game just proved to me and to you guys I wasn't crazy. I wasn't making this shit up. So now what then? I, I say we, we level up for as long as possible. And then when the next raid shows up, we go straight up to the police captain and hope for the best. Because there's no way we're getting up to 1600 and what's to say that the next um, bribe is not going to be even higher. Oh shit, it's happening right now. At the off? Oh, that's what, that's what Walter White said. I have like barely, I don't even have 600. We're, we're getting screwed here. Um. Come here, come here, leave. Leave. Leave that location right now. Okay, guys, you know what? I'm going straight up for that captain attack now. Oh my god, I barely made it. You see the cops? They showed up? Ooh, that would have been dead. Okay. 
you see, this is what I'm telling you. I'm not sure if this is like a bug or something, or there's something I'm just missing. Maybe the idea I had about the invincibility is actually true after all. So what I need to do is forget about selling now. Whoever is hurt, bring your ass over here. We'll heal you, and we're doing one last push for... We got two people almost maxed out, though, so Janice and Lillian are almost there. So you guys keep going. I'm going to send the, the seller who's weak to get some HP back. What about you? <laughs> your stamina's almost maxed out, but that's not, really nothing for damage, though. Okay, so whoever is weak, get your HP back. We're doing one last push over here. You guys also need a bit more, but so be it. Um, There's still one dude selling drugs here for us, so... With what little money we have left over, I am going to sell the production one first for 100. Production one, sell for 150. Damage experience, I mean, 30 experience won't really do much for me right now at the moment. Uh, my money storage is maxed out. Let me go over here and buy invisibility, invisibility, invisibility. We have three of them at the very least. And now I will sell the fight. Oh, that's not going to give us enough for another invisibility. Damn! I guess we'll just keep it then. Okay. Um. So how is this going to work? I need to give them the drugs and then they get in here. So perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. How do you time it? Like, how long does it last? I need to time it perfectly so that we come over here, we pump the drugs, and then we go in there and just attack everybody. We're being attacked at the laundry next, which is where you're at. That's okay. You know why it's okay? Because there's only one dude here. It's not like we're selling anymore. So, Ryan, it is time for you to... Oh, Jesus. Leave, Ryan. Leave, Ryan. Okay, okay. We've lost that location. That's fine. Okay, we're making one last push here. Okay. Are, are you are you ladies already maxed out? Please tell me you almost are. Improve your workers' productivity. Yeah, it's still not maxed. And your stamina is still going up a little bit here. Okay, so everybody's just about healed up as much as possible, other than the ladies here who are just doing their last bit of leveling. Can you guys max out? Okay. So whoever gets raided next, we go to the last location, and then we do the final push, and we gotta time everything perfectly then. So what's the next raid? Next raid... Let's keep leveling up meanwhile. Fitness center, which is right here. Okay, so you guys are now coming up over here. I won't be able to give the ladies their last bit of HP back, unfortunately. But it is what it is, so... Anybody who's freed up... Come down here. Um, Brenda as well. Yeah, so choose. And from here, we do our final attack. Unfortunately, we won't have enough for another invisibility drug. I don't think. Okay. I mean, can we sell that... Last bit of drugs right there. <laughs> Give me the money. Oh, I had to pay them. God damn it. All right, you guys. So this is it. We're going in. We have no items. Or, I mean, other than the invisibility drugs, which we'll use right now. So here we go. If this fails, then I got no idea how to do this mission then. Because I, I think I played it as perfectly as possible. So everybody attack here. And... The moment they get over here, we have to slow it down, and I'll pump whoever I can with. We have four invisibility drugs at the very least. I know for a fact we have to keep... Shit. Move. Oh, I, I can't give them the drugs? Oh, you can't give them the drugs when they're... ...not in... Oh, no! I had to give them the drugs first and then send them in here. Oh, we're so boned. Walter White went down. We lost four workers. We still had... You know, if Walter... If Walter had not been knocked down just now, would we had enough to survive this? I mean, had I used the drugs beforehand, not knowing you could use them before... I mean, I've never used the items before, so it seems you have to use them in a neutral location. Jump! to a non-neutral location and then do the attack. I thought we could use them here because I'm not sure how long they last. I'm not sure how long the effect is. Damn. All right, guys, you know what? I wasn't really happy 
with how that ended, it kind of stuck in my craw a little bit, which, you know, I, I don't like leaving things unresolved. So, what we're doing here is we want Gunter for a fact to have the invisibility, because if he dies, it's game over anyway. So, you have invisibility now. You see, that doesn't even last too long. And then you, invisibility, doesn't matter who it is at this point, we gotta have to use them and just send them off, because it doesn't last too long. See, that's my worry about the invisibility. I'd rather be, have some time to use them, but apparently you don't get some time, so we have to come over here now. Everybody, attack. And technically speaking, we have four people with invisibility. Is it gonna last long enough? I got no idea, because it, see, you can't use the items over here, you have to be at a neutral location, so... This is as best as gonna be. So, this will answer the question that I have. Is this possible or not? Okay, so, can you guys, like, move? For a fact, we have to keep Gunther alive. So, y you see, the visibility thing's gone already. It's completely gone. Okay. Guys, maybe. This, this might work. Maybe. Oh! <gasps> we did it! Oh, thank God. But you see, there's such a minimal... There's such a minimal marginal room for error. Like, you gotta play this level the same way I did, and maybe take the drugs before the attack, because otherwise you're gonna lose. This is a very difficult level because there's no room for error, and there's no room for, like, you know, freedom. Like, you gotta play the way I played it, and hope that you get enough people leveled up with enough drugs stored up, so that when you do the last storm in, you could, you know, survive the, the increase in police bribes. Oh my god. Well, we got it done at least. Stop, ouch, what's the hell? Ouch, what do you want? Stop. Hi, Mr. Serious. Tell me everything you know about Goldman. Curiosity killed a cat, you know. Well, go to the next level and get into his plan. I like how the game references levels, too. You'll get all the answers there. Damn, I left the cola at the store. Well, we got it done at the very least. It just bothered me that I did that video and I couldn't get it done, even with the idea that I played it as well as possible. So I played it well. Maybe the fact that we didn't use the drugs beforehand didn't give me that extra small edge I needed, but at least we got it done now, which is great. Thank God. I don't have to worry too much about being like, God damn it, how do you beat that level? Do you guys have it? Really small room for error. I would probably go back and balance this level a little bit because otherwise there's only one way to play it, which is kind of really annoying. I will catch you guys next time.